Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I thought we'd have a look at the challenges of word stress in English. Word stress is often difficult to determine in English but it's also very important because it can very often make a difference in meaning. Uh, think of for instance the difference between desert and dessert quite a bit of difference there in pronunciation. The only difference really is the word stress. Uh, sometimes a difference in word stress can also make a difference in word category. Think for instance of a rebel, the noun, and the verb to rebel. Rebel, rebel. Or perfect as an adjective and to perfect, the verb. Present, noun or adjective, and to present, the verb. But, given two different word categories, you don't always have a difference in word stress. If you take, for instance, the example of a boycott and to boycott same pronunciation, same word stress, but two different word categories. Or uh, an attack and to attack, exactly the same pronunciation, exactly the same word stress. Um, sometimes there is a difference in word stress between British English and American English. I'm not going into that today. Uh, there's another video you can watch. I'll uh, put the link below. It is definitely not the case that a certain relation between words determines a particular stress. Uh, differences between ethnic and ethnicity, for instance, or between technique and technical. Another example, electric or electrical and electricity. Think of politics versus political versus politician. Three different places of the stress in those words. Politics, political, politician. Or to preside, a president and presidential. Again, three different word uh, stresses. Uh, sometimes to make things even more difficult, uh, different people use different stresses in the same word and there is a certain leeway there for individual choices. Uh, the first, uh, uh, the first uh, example that comes to mind uh, is controversy or controversy. Some people say controversy, some people say controversy. Both are okay. So is there nothing to hold on to then? concerning stress? Well, sometimes there is a bit of consistency. Uh, and one of the major elements that you can count on uh, is that suffixes, uh, little elements that are attached to the ends of words, that suffixes are usually unstressed. For instance, final ER, as in baker or teacher, photographer, unstressed. Final IST as in geologist or psychiatrist or journalist always unstressed. Final LI, uh, the suffix that, uh, suffix that very often makes an adjective into um, an adverbial. Uh, LI is normally unstressed at the end of a word. Things like quickly, unfortunately, and also a final ing, ing, usually unstressed, morning, leaving, determining. But that doesn't really diminish the challenges of word stress in English all that much. My advice for you would be just keep your ears open and notice pronunciation and stress and try to learn from those. Hope you find this interesting. If you did, please give me a like. Don't hesitate to subscribe or to leave a comment. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.